is up you guys, it is Ivor Force and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach and today we're back again with the Task Force Tour in which we take on every single operation in uh, in Boom Beach and right now we're nearing the end, we're getting closer to Dead End, Choke Point, Curtain Call, Stronghold, Foxtrot and Tinderbox and in the last episode we took on Operation Bottleneck and I'm gonna show you guys the rewards right now, I already previously recorded that one because I already did a recording on Tinderbox but unfortunately, I lost the footage, so I have to re-record that one. I hope my task force members are okay with that, but these are the operation rewards of the previous task force operation, which we did sour grapes. We took it down once again. As you guys can see, it's been three days since Tinderbox, so we took down sour grapes once again, which is really, really awesome. And I'm going to be going for the gold because I want to be upgrading something in the armory, and I'm not, sure, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be. I'll be taking a little bit late... I'll be taking a look at that a little bit later. Anyway, it is time for Operation Tinderbox. Here we go. So, what we're facing today are five power cores, right? And they're relatively high level, I must say. All of them are level 100 and above, with the exception of Breakwater and Crunch. So, let's take a look at Breakwater first, because that's the lowest level over th at this one. So, as you guys can see, this is actually relatively easy to take out, because there's not a whole lot of defenses down there. I feel if you go uh, to these rocket launches, take those out, you'll be able to take this one out really easily with Heavy Zooka. Um, the power core does have almost half a million health, so that is definitely something to consider. Next up, we got Crunch, level 96 base, and this one is actually pretty, like, tied together, the... the um, the density of the defenses are pretty close and very tied together. And we're talking about the 253% building health, which brings it a total of 560-something five, thousand health on this power core. There's a lot of boom cannons at the side, so be careful with that one. Um, and I see two shock launchers. I'm kind of missing the shock launcher at the left side, but still that's going to be okay. Got one over here and one over there. Kind of feel that those are going to be the targets of this base. And also you got all of these rocket launchers over here, so that's definitely going to be a warrior target for sure. Moving on to the next one, we got Quay. Quay level 103. Probably really tight base, and as you guys can see, this is going to be um, this is going to be an okay base. I mean, if you got the warriors to actually take on these rocket launches, we're going to be in a good position. I believe that um, if you go for the rocket launches at the back here, you are in the ability to actually drop a shock bomb here and actually get all of the three buildings, and then way that way you're actually going to be fine. So that is one way to go around doing this. Uh, let's see where people are going to be attacking on this one. I think from the left side, as a matter of fact. Because the right and left side look basically the same, but you got all of these mortars as well. I have no idea, but we'll see about that soon. And then we got Machina, a pretty tight base, that's one thing for sure. Level 108, and look at this one, look at this one. This is, uh, this is really badass. This is actually really badass. If we take this one down, I'll be so happy because this one looks actually pretty tough. Or not as tough as you might think. I mean, if you go from the bottom hand side... You take out these boom cannons and these machine guns, right? You are in the ability to get closer here. So that's going to be interesting to uh, to take a look at. And uh, last but not least, Conveyor. Conveyor is definitely going to be the hardest base. Oh my god, look at this. This is actually ridiculous. So uh, let's actually take a look how much health. 400%. Oh my god, 640 on top of the 160 brings it at 820,000 health on this base. This is going to be really... Actually... If you could just go by the back side here on the right side. I mean, it's a little bit far-fetched. But, I mean, you can pick up all of these power cells over here and actually make your way up to the back there. I don't know. We'll just see how this one's going to be going. I'm actually going to make a message here now. Let's go. I'm going to say... Um, remember to uh, not attack randomly. St uh, stick... To one side and don't attack the bases we simply won't we simply won't beat so there we go just popped in the message there to make sure that they're actually gonna be going ahead and do this properly because last time you know they actually like just attack so random that we kind of had a little conversation about that and that was something that we probably should be taking into consideration so um, my guys are in the clear and now I'm just gonna wait until they're gonna be attacking and I'll meet you guys back again once the first attack is initiated all right Luke 
is attacking Breakwater right now, which is obviously going to be the easiest base to defeat on this one. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm curious to know what kind of attack strategy he's using. I don't have the sound on for some odd reason. Gotta need to fix that one. Am I even recording? Okay, yeah, thank god I'm recording. Okay, awesome. So he's going with the Rifleman and Medic strategy, which is very nice. I'm actually going to show you guys something a little bit cool about yesterday's Task Force Operation Attack that I did yesterday, because I did a 100% Rifleman attack. I had like 100 and 26 riflemen down there and I actually took so many power cells and I cleared up so many mines in my run through there so that was really awesome to watch as you guys can see he's going by the right side um, I think if anything someone should be attacking the left side as well take out those rocket launchers I might even do it myself I'm not entirely sure so as you guys can see he's actually dropping the shock bomb here between the sniper tower and between two these uh, flamethrower which is a very very solid and good move that's definitely the way to go because otherwise you'd be getting fried drop another one and this time around he dropped it on the boom cannon as well i think he's going to be flaring there now yep he is but um, he has another uh, additional energy there in order to uh, keep the mouse shocked so that is great once that flamethrower is out he's uh, kind of in a good position because everything is just single targeting but he's got to be careful here for the mortar so as you guys can see he's going for the boom cannon the mortar kind of logs onto target here and drops the smoke Oh, that is a pretty dev devastating uh, mortar. That's one thing for sure. And now these medkits kind of, um, these, these have, uh, medics kind of like get taken out just like that. Um, He's going to be doing some damage onto this boom cannon. And actually, uh, he's going to be in the ability to take it out. So in the meantime... I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my attack that I did yesterday. Because that one was actually pretty interesting with Sour Grapes. So where are you? Reversal, reversal, reversal. I kind of need to find this one. Okay, here, Mercury. I took out 45 base uh, force points over here. And um, I was like, you know, there's also so many mines here in the center. That I was like, you know, uh, we probably got to make sure that we're going to be clearing stuff out. So this was Conveyor. I went to the right. So I'm going to fast forward this. Um, you see this sniper tower over there. It was kind of fire. Away, I was like, you know, that's quite kind of annoying. So I took it out just in case someone else wanted to be going for that base as well. As you guys can see, I'm basically in a good position here, uh, grabbing all of these power cells over here. And then in a couple of seconds here, you guys see me actually drop off the barrages here. And I literally cleared out every single mine, like in this little area here. So I took out this as well, uh, dropped an artillery here, dropped an artillery there. I just made sure that all of these mines over here are work gone. And as you guys can see, I took all of this out already. And I was kind of afraid of the mortar down there so it was a really really awesome attack i think i did myself a really awesome deal there i suppose and as you guys can see all the mines are gone they can just make their way up to the rocket launcher and the rest is history so let's see how well people are doing on the task force tour right now luca is still attacking this base so maybe i should be going ahead and actually check what quay is on gonna be all about um Okay, so here was the situation with all of these mines, right? Okay, here's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be boosting on my gunboat energy. And actually go show you guys how I'm going to be attacking Quay. Uh, I mean, yeah, Quay. <clears throat> I want to be attacking Quay for sure. And, you know, I'm just going to be doing the, the masterpiece for troop damage as well. And then it's time for Quay. There's no music. <laughs> oh, well, that's going to be okay. So, what are we going to be doing is we're going to be making our way to these rocket launchers over here to hopefully take those out and then keep all of these rocket launchers over here shocked. Now, the tricky part here over here is, of course, the machine guns and all of that good stuff. So, I'm not, I'm even not really sure if I should be doing this, but I, mm, let me see, let me see. You know what? I'm going to be going for that shock launcher over here and then... I'll just see where the warriors are going to be going. I should probably keep this machine gun and this machine gun shocked. And probably this rocket launcher too. Drop a couple of medkits if I have that energy. That's also an issue. So let's see what people are doing. Good job, Luke. Yeah, Luke did a, did, did a nice job there. So let's just go ahead and attack Quay. See what we're going to be doing there. I did have my warriors ready. So why not use them, right? Okay, so where can I take out the most amount of mines? Probably around... I'm thinking here, because they're kind of separated. I'm not sure. Maybe in the middle here? Okay, so. Okay, all of those mines in the back kind of got taken out, so that's a good thing. Ugh, that was not as efficient as I wanted it to be. That's kind of a bummer. But uh, it's cool regardless. Let's actually make our move there. So I'm going to be dropping uh, 
flare there. Get a little Illuminati triangle down there. And then it is time to make our way to the base. Okay. Doing good so far. Dropping an additional one just in case. And now I need to keep the right building shocked. So you guys, you guys, you guys. Ah, I don't got enough energy. Ah, this is going to be trouble. But we're going to be taking out this one over here. Okay, so do some damage onto these rocket launchers. Like, take them out as much as you can. Oh my god, just look at this. Like, this is actually pretty tough. Uh, energy, energy. I, I got this energy. Drop the artilleries. <laughs> I just dropped the artilleries last second there because it was kind of like... Uh. Okay, so we actually managed to do something there. Okay, Roby. Or Robby. I'm not sure. Roby? Robby? I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I think it's Roby, but... You have to excuse me for that. So, what is Roby going to be doing is he's going to be using warriors. And I think I'm pretty positive that he's going to be going for the rocket launcher, which is the thing to do. Like, if, if anything, um, is he? No, he's... <laughs> God, he's not going for the rocket launch. Oh, he is. He is. Okay. He was kind of like having a resting moment there. Um, so let's see. Do you got still a lot of warriors left? He actually dropped the flame, uh, the flare pretty smartly, dropping it in the middle there. That way he was able to actually get both of them under siege uh, right off the bat there. So as you guys can see, the rocket launcher is going to be taken now. I kind of wanted to be doing this attack, but Luke was attacking this base, so that was going to be okay. Rocket launchers both got taken out just like that. Right now the smoke is here, but you're in a, you're in a pinch situation. Because um, flamethrowers, if you don't got the... You need two medkits here, probably. At least two. Oh, that's actually a very nice shock, but unfortunately it's not really going to be doing a whole lot. As you guys can see, we're taking out this base. And hopefully the task force members kind of realize right now that you should be going to the left side here. Because that is the most in best way to actually go around doing this. Two is attacking right now. So let's see if he's going to clean up the base. <laughs> Bad intentional pun. No, he's using Hafizuka at the other side. Oh my god. <laughs> Look. You got your heavy Zooka right over here. There is six potential cannons over there who's going to be hitting you all the time. Uh, of course, when you take them out, uh, it's a different story. But fact of the matter is, the buildings are there and they are going to be tearing you up. Because as you guys can see right now, Zookas are going to be targeting on other kinds of stuff right now. Kind of being distracted and that kind of like t eats the time away, I suppose. And the, and, and the heavies are almost gone. So if you went to the left side here, all you had to take out is, is this boom cannon over here, right? And potentially this cannon over here at the right side. Move your way to the left side, get to these power cores, and then have a little fun here because uh, nothing can literally touch you at that moment. So I don't know what my task force members are thinking, at least um, maybe they're thinking like a different way. But I have the feeling we're kind of wasting attacks here. Um, luckily, oh, we're not going to be taking out that cannon. <laughs> okay, Braxton, let's see what you're gonna be doing. Clean up the base, buddy. Okay, so took out the cannon. So do your work here. Heavy Zuka making your way up there. Yes, very nice flare. That's how I like to see this one. And I kind of feel that he's going to be in the ability to take out this base because all he has to do essentially is just drop a shock bomb here um, to, um, to actually take care of the cannons. Uh, that's an additional correctional flare, just in case. And I will flare to the cannons now, honestly. That's gonna be okay. So, exactly as I expected, dropping the shock bomb there. And he's basically invulnerable. He's not being gonna be able to be taken down by any um, units out there. I'm actually going to talk to the task force members real quick. Uh, Mats Matsuku's right now attacking Machina. That's gonna be interesting. Um, guys on Breakwater... It would have saved us like two, two, three attacks if we went to the left side. So yeah, <laughs> that's my two two cents on this. So as you guys can see, Braxton, you can actually see whenever you're on on the map screen that the power core. Is actually taking a lot of damage down there. So let's just see how far Braxton is. He's already there most likely. 
So as you guys can see, just the heavy Zuko just firing like a boss. And yeah, what can the Mortar do anyway against the, the force of the Zukas and the heavies here? You know, heavy Zuka is, is a really great strategy. I really like using heavy Zuka as well. Uh, I'm not the best heavy Zuka player out there, but still, regardless of that, uh, I really like the troop combination. I kind of like the idea of having a huge damage dealer in the back and then having a tank in the front. I mean, that's game stuff uh, for all kinds of platforms but yeah that is breakwater so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a little break and uh once i'm back we're gonna be fast forwarding through the highlights of the attacks so that way we get to show how far we made it up there on tinderbox i might provide you guys with some commentary but it will be like tomorrow or something like that so that being said i'm gonna take a little break it's time for dinner so i'll meet you guys um in the transition all right and we're back again and uh, we got one hour and five minutes remaining until the operation is over and we actually made it up pretty far we took down three of the five bases we do uh we actually did a decent amount of damage on crunch we might still be able to take down crunch although i'm pretty sure we're not going to be in the ability to show you guys that one off in this very video but i'm actually gonna go and see how far we came up to the base so uh it seems we did a, a fair amount of damage going to the right side here. Um, and then actually going around the back. We actually took out all of those power cells around there. Which is a pretty funny side to watch. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the replays um, in, a, in fast forward, I suppose, of uh, Machina most importantly. Actually, I want to watch Machina at first. Because Machina is actually one of those bases that was pretty hard to beat. And uh, EA Games, which is, um, if, if, you're, if you're seeing a comment from Eric, that is him. He actually joined in the task force, which I'm pretty happy about. I really like the, uh, the loyal viewer to be a part of, uh, of the task force that I create. It's always so much fun. Because uh, as you guys can see, he's using the Havazuka Rifleman. I think that's RZM. I'm not entirely sure. No, the M stands for Medic. Oh, it doesn't really matter anyway. So, shock bombs here onto the uh, rocket launchers, which obviously is very important. I like these three layers. I should probably try this attack at some point in the future as well. Ooh, Zukas did get a lot of damage there. Actually got taken out, most of them. Takes out the sniper tower still. And that is about that. So, we're left with so much building still. But let's see how we're going to be taking this one out. And uh, next attack, Tinko. Just didn't do anything. Guys, you actually went with the same troop combination. And as you guys can see, he actually took out all of these sniper towers and those cannons as well. Was left with the Zookas and unfortunately got taken out. So uh, that was a pretty nice attack if anything still. I don't really understand this one. Now this is a really interesting attack. Four heavies and 88 riflemen from Torchum. And I'm curious he also goes to the left side there. So I suppose we got options now. 
moves in closer into the base, not really afraid of those uh, of those buildings that are attacking his units. And as you guys can see, he's able to actually take out a, a lot of these power cells, getting him a lot of energy, actually uh, doing some damage, uh, barrages onto that rocket launcher. That clearly is the focus. I would advise, really, um, to focus your operation attacks first on taking out the essentials with warriors. So, for example... Okay, that's interesting. It's not really necessary, but uh, okay. I would just focus on taking out like buildings like rocket launcher, shock launchers first, and then like wipe the base out because that's just generally the way to go around taking out the base. So right now we got Linux. Also remember we've never seen a four uh, before attacking, so he goes for the same rocket launcher, actually takes it out, and then his units come in here. Uh, at the front side there we got Heavy Zuka uh, Medics. And uh, he's making his way to the cannons there. I think he's going to go for the other cannons as well. Oh, he doesn't go for the other cannons. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Make up your mind. Actually takes out all of these cannons. And right now we just got free play here. We can just take out the base like a boss. Because uh, the only, the only uh, multi-targeting defensive building that is still there is going to be... The rocket launcher, but it cannot fire away. And as you guys can see, that's how he took out Kuei. And last but not least, Swagged Phantom actually just had to use Heavy Zooka in order to take out the base. So that was very nice. And in general, in Crunch, let's actually see a couple of these attacks here. And then we're going to be wrapping this one up. Starting off with uh, Commander Fads. Or Fads, I'm not entirely sure. But he actually did a significant amount of damage here with his warriors. And I'm curious to know, he goes to the right side here. Interesting. Okay, took out one power cell. So that's maybe how you got those force points there. Okay, makes his way up to the uh, shock launcher. Very nice. Keep on smoking. Oof. They got a... Uh, they're halfway dead. Halfway dead. They're still alive. So, uh... Okay. Dropping the medkit, obviously. Now, drop the shocks. Oh, yes. He actually got all four of the uh, rocket launchers down there. Took out the shock launcher. Now, get in between those rocket launchers because you definitely want to be taking those out. As you guys can see, uh, kind of like the medkit wasn't really... Could have been dropped a little bit better. But regardless of that, took out another rocket launcher. And that was actually important for us to progress onto crunch. Then uh, we're going to be moving forward to... Uh, oh, tanks and medics. Uh, that's, a, that's actually just only one force point. Uh, four, four, 10 force points. Uh, let me see what is what looks interesting. Jesse. Caleb. J JT. Let's actually watch J J JT's attack. So, right now, all of these buildings over here at the right side have been taken out. Uh, I see a boom cannon being gone. There's still a lot of uh, rocket launches alive, surprisingly. So, let's see what you're going to be doing. I think you're going to be going to the back here. And actually taking out those force point buildings over there. Yeah, it seems like you are. And then going to be doing some damage onto that rocket launcher. One rocket launcher gets taken out. Let's see if he gets the energy to take out the other rocket launchers as well. Let's just keep on focusing onto that rocket launchers over here. One more artillery and that rocket launcher is also going to be gone. There you go. Very nice of you, JT. Of actually doing that. Now, of course... Ooh, rocket launchers cannot do anything because before they actually do anything, they are healed up again. So, um, the tanks I'm talking about. So, that is very nice. This is dangerous though right now because you're getting near cannons, you're getting near boom cannons. Ooh, he's choosing the power cores or the power cells right now. I would have just attacked and sacrificed myself to actually go for that rocket launcher. But yeah, that's just me. Keeps them shocked and he ran out of time. So, yeah. You actually at least get get to keep your you know catch your get to keep your tanks over here. So uh, right now on crunch we are uh, hopefully going to be taking it out in the upcoming hour, but uh, I highly doubt so. So this is the uh, aftermath right now of Operation Tinderbox. So overall it was a very nice uh, task force operation. We de we definitely did better than I thought we would. So props to my uh, ta task force members, if anything. So that's going to be concluding this today's episode of Tinderbox, Operation Tinderbox. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video to boom, give it a thumbs up. That being said, this has been Reversal for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.